Next up, our platform is moving from Ethereum to Cardano. This is always an interesting one because it's uh, from my man Charles Hoskinson. Some people hate him, some people love him. But in a surprise AMA, Charles Hoskinson answered viewers' questions, and this was in response to a question, and he just talked about convincing projects to get into Cardano. And he stated, a lot of them want to leave. I have 90 potential deals that are in my commercial pipeline. We literally cannot service all of them. So when I, when I hear these types of things, I'm like, that's kind of a lot of hubris. That's that's a lot of her hyperbole. I don't think this is real. I think it's an over-exaggeration. But, you know... Uh, Charles Hoskinson, it's, he's just one of those guys that, you know, is very boastful, and uh, and it could be. But when we get in the article, I, I kind of see the whole rationale behind it. So just to clarify, he said, I didn't say 90 coins want to move over because everything's built on Ethereum, right? ERC-20 tokens. He said, I said that the commercial team has 90 potential deals in the pipeline. That said... ERC-20 converter should easily push things in this direction. If you don't know, Cardano has come up uh, with a format to change over ERC-20 tokens onto the Cardano network. So it would essentially take away the business from Ethereum. And that's what technology should do. It should just get better. And if they can scale, like they talk about scaling with Hydra, with, with their 100,000 transactions per second, then hey, Cardano could be a big winner. And this is why I hedge my bet. I don't put everything into Ethereum. I don't put everything into Cardano. I don't know which one's going to win. But, you know, I have some guesses. So I just kind of disperse it amongst them and see which one wins out. Anyhow, this article states Cardano is in a good position. News of the delay to scaling ETH 2.0 is released. Indeed, many Ethereum-based products will be looking for alternatives. And this was a problem because ETH 2.0 needs to happen. It needs to happen because we just saw what happened with DeFi. The, the transactions were super slow. Uh, the prices went through the, the roof. And you just cannot do that. And that's just with a little bit of our sector. What would happen when like bigger players come in and then everything crashed and then the uh, prices quadrupled, you know, or something like that? That just cannot happen. And we saw what DeFi did in a month. Can you imagine what this space will look like in two years when Ethereum gets everything going? Now that I just say that out loud, that sounds pretty scary. I mean, two years to get things going in a space where everything happens in weeks? Eesh, this is not looking good for Ethereum. That's all I will say. Do I Am I, I going to pull my money out? No, probably not. I got There's a lot of good people, a lot of smart people on that platform, but who knows? That's why I'm saying this tribalism that everybody has, like, you got to do this one. This one's the greatest. Just calm down. Just calm down. I'm a big cheerleader for everybody. If whatever cryptocurrency comes in, I'm super happy, right? water rushes in all the boats rise all that good stuff i just don't see the whole thing point of uh, tribalism whichever one wins wins and, and that's and so much the better i got a lot of different uh stakes in the fire and i don't have to be right on all of them i just got to hit one anyhow to finish up states here it may have already begun happening as can be seen from singularity net's recent move to cardano from the ethereum network citing the timing of the rollout of different aspects of ETH at 2.0 as a concern, of course. If it's gonna take a year delay, <laughs> it's not good. And if you don't know, uh, Singularity or Singularity Net, it's a full stack AI, artificial intelligence platform that lets anyone create, share, and monetize AI services at scale. They're actually the company uh, behind that, that robot, Sophia, that looks really freaky. But anyhow, the potential move to Ethereum is driven by concerns around speed and costs. It have been badly affected lately by demand from DeFi platforms with gas peaking as high as 17 per transaction. Team also doubts about the feasibility of ETH 2.0 which has been in development for the past few years, but is still some way off of being a practical solution. So if you, if you think Singularity uh, Net is actually looking at this and going, this isn't a good idea, we're going to jump ship, how many other projects are doing, saying the same thing? Because look, we know how fast this sector moves, and if it moves as quick as DeFi does, I think we're going to see a lot of people jump, a lot of projects jump ship. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our last story.